Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really special for you guys. So I woke up this morning, unassuming, just my day off, whatever, gave Peach a bath. That's why she's crazy, that's why she's running around because she's a gremlin and I got her wet. And I saw on Instagram this new Starbucks unicorn frappuccino drink. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, it's probably going to be really gross because people are saying it's sour, it's sweet, sour, weird kind of stuff. And then the other part of me is saying, go get it. Do your makeup like it. This is an excuse for you to do glitter unicorn makeup. And I said, good point, me. I'm going to be doing a unicorn sparkly makeup look. And just to show you how prepared I am, I just brought a clusterfuck of things. I've got my breakfast, which is, incidentally, I don't know how many people do this. Like, I'm not, I'm from Mexico, so I don't, I've never done Easter with, like, eggs and the Easter bunny and egg, Easter egg hunts. So I don't know how common this is, but, like, do y'all eat these after it's done? Like, I had them yesterday. They've been in our fridge, like, since Sunday. It's Wednesday now, so don't think I'm, like, gross. They're still good. Um, and they taste just like regular eggs, but I thought if you were, like, dunking them in vinegar that they might taste like vinegar, but they don't. And I'm, like, very ambivalent about this right now, but, I mean, they taste just like hard-boiled eggs. So I'm going to start off with the most unicorn product of all unicorn products. I'm going to start off with the Cover FX Halo Custom Enhancer Drops. I'm going to put this ish all over my face. So, there it is. You're going to see how crazy luminous this is. I mean. My skin, my skin is feeling a little dry, so I'm going to do a little bit of MAC Softening Lotion. Um, this is from Lightful C formula. I just transferred it to my Fix Plus container. And it's got a whole lot of melon pigment in it. That's why it's so shiny. It literally leaves your skin feeling like a baby's ass. Okay, next I'm going to be using this new palette, Make Believe in Yourself, so I'm going to take this color, just very lightly set the primer. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, now that the eyes are done, that's the hardest part, right? I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Which has been a really good foundation for me lately. I'm going to take my Kat Von D concealer in L7 and M27. One is the really light one, which I'm putting on now for highlighting. And then the other one is closer to my actual skin color. And I'm going to use that to conceal. And this concealer is super pigmented, so you only need like a tiny little bit. So this is M27. What are you doing, crazy? I'm taking M27 on any place where I have like spots. I do have a lot of spots, so it's gonna be a while. I'm going to set using my favorite powder, the MAC Studio Fix. This is NC25. I'm just going to pat it on. I'm taking my Delphic Bronzer from MAC. This is a Studio Sculpt Bronzer. And this is a MAC 128. Now, you wait for me for one second. Okay, guys. So, we're almost done, I promise. Last little step that we need to do is I've got a MAC 170, which is a really... I've got a MAC 170, which is a really flat top synthetic brush. And then, this is the Debena Cosmetics Prism Highlighter. It's one of those rainbow highlighters. And I don't care. I don't care if this trend is calm and gone and paid its taxes. I'm still gonna wear it because this is a unicorn look. So I'm gonna place it right between where the highlight would go and where your blush would go. Press down and then swipe up. I'm gonna get another little swipe of this. a little bit of this white highlight right in the inner corner this is all in the interest of being extra right like we're we're being a little extra today so I'm gonna take the Urban Decay heavy glitter liner in distortion I'm gonna highlight my cupid's bow with it And at last, the very last step, which is, the very last step is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Botanical, which is a really, really bright coral. So if you'll give me one second, I am going to actually go 
and buy a drink from Starbucks because I am at that level of extra. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I wasn't lying. Cute, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try it because <laughs> I, I got it, but who the fuck knows what this tastes like, so let's try it. It's weird. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like Starburst. Mmm. I got a little of the sour. It's supposed to change color change colors as you stir it. So it was purple before and now it's turning like pink. Like Starburst, Airhead kind of taste. The sour is really good. So I saw a lot of people that didn't like the sour, but the sour is like my life right now. This is so good. Interesting. It's definitely more of like an icy drink than like a milkshake. I approve. But here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you go out and get your hands on a unicorn frap. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag no one knows me. So you can trust me. Mm. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.